I was growing up in a, a small town. Most of the town people were Germans and 300 Jewish people lived in that town. In my immediate family was my father, my mother, my brother, my sister and I. And we had a wonderful life. So when the Germans invaded Hungary, the Jewish people's life changed. I was 13 years old at that time. We had to wear a yellow star that we marked that we Jewish. And I went with the star to school. Children who liked me the day before, they started shoving me, pushing me, because I was not the same anymore. My brother was 20 years old. He was drafted into a labor camp. And then very shortly after that, we were taken to a ghetto, about 30 miles from our hometown. And there was thousands of Jewish people there. And every day they were taking people, and every day they were bringing people. We didn't know where they were taking the people. Middle of June of 1944, they called our name. We were taken to the railroad station and put into those freight trains where they deliver animals. 80, 90 people crammed in there. Many people even lost their lives. I do have nightmares about this. We were traveling like a day and a half. Then they opened the door. And the town we arrived to was called Auschwitz. And then they said, men go this way, women go this way. Her father went this way. We never, ever saw our father again. And we come in front of a selection committee. In Auschwitz, selection committee was always Dr. Joseph Mengele. And he saw that our mother was so broken up. He pushes her this way. My sister in German says to him, please, let my sister go with my mother. She's so young. He says, no, she's strong enough. She can work. And that was the end of a mother, just like a father. Never, never saw them again. And then there was this very funny smell in the air. What was the crematoriums? What we found out later. That's where they burned our parents. I was 40 months in camps, and then one time, Dr. Mengele came in, he wanted 150 people for labor camp. Most of the time when he selected, we had to undress. And my whole body was full of lice bites. So he pushed me to the back, and in the back there, there was a lady. She says to me, why don't you put your coat on your shoulder and try to sneak back into the line what he picked for work. Maybe he won't recognize you. And I did. And I was taken away from Auschwitz. But from, all, from the 300 Jewish people in my hometown, just 15 of us survived. With all the things I was telling you about my life, what happened to me in my young age, right now I still feel very blessed because for me God was the most important thing my parents died for it, and six million died for the Jewish religion. And when I talk to the children, that's the most important I bring up. Don't hate, because hatred destroys. And I also tell them, believe in God. God will get you through this. I come to the temple, and I, f I feel like I'm close to God. It's important that we, we do our share for the temple. I'm a member 58 years. They don't make these synagogues and temples anymore like this. This is beautiful.